ذره ها رقص کنند آن کس که از او چرخ و هوا رقص کنند جان ها ز خوشی بی سر و پا رقص کنند در گوش تو گویم که کجا رقص کنند ذره که در هوا و در همون است نیکو نگرش که هم چما مفتون است هر ذره اگر خوش است اگر محزون است سرگشته خورشیده خوش I remember my, my uh, you know, my stepfather, you know, would beat me and he, you know, he would beat me with extension cords and, and, and hangers and, you know, pieces of wood and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, after every beating, he would tell me, you know, it hurt me more than it hurt you. And, you know, I only did it because I love you. It was kind of, you know, it communicated the wrong message to me about what love was. So for many years, you know, I thought that love was supposed to hurt. And um, I hurt everyone that I loved. And I measured love by how much pain someone would take from me. Um, and it wasn't until I came to prison in an environment that is devoid of love that I began to have some sort of understanding about what it actually was and was not. And I met someone, um, and she gave me my first real insight into what love was because she saw past my conditions and the fact that I was in prison with a life sentence for murder, not, and not only for murder, but for doing the worst kind of murder that a man can do, murdering a woman and a child. And it was Agnes, the mother and grandmother of Patricia and Chris, the woman and child that I murdered, who gave me my best lesson about love because by all rights, she should hate me. But she didn't. And over the course of time and through the journey that we took, <laughs> that's been pretty amazing. She gave me love and <clears throat> <sighs> she taught me what it was.
حتى من أول لحظة حملت فيها الأسلاح كان في نوع من أنواع الخوف الخوف موجود عند كل البشر وخايف كمان أن أشيل دم أو كذا وهيك أو أن أشيلت الأسلاح أنا صرت بي بي يعني من معلم مدرسة إلى مسلح بس في شيء أجبرني يعني في في مناظر أو أمور أجبرتني لما أحيانا بسألني أنه يعني أحيانا تخطر ببال أفكار إنه بابا ليش الحرب هاي كلها ما بدها تنتهي؟ إنه بابا ليش أنت مثلا تقتل العسكري؟ العسكري ما عنده أب وأم عم يستنوه وعم ينتظروا مثلنا يعني بابا بقول له إيه مزبوط الكلام بابا، كان ليش بابا؟ بقول له بابا لأنه هو على خطأ وإحنا على صح. طيب ليش هو على خطأ؟ إيه بابا هو على خطأ هو عم يقتل أطفال، عم يقتل عائلات، عم ي... عم يدنس المساجد، عم يقصر المساجد يا بابا، إحنا عم ندافع عن الإشي هذا. فاحنا بنحاول دائما الاطفال نبين لهم كل الامور هاي يعني انه صحيح انا حملت سلاح بس حملته في شغلات اجبرتني على حمله ولا مو حب انه ارتكب انه احمل دم ب ب على رقبتي مدى الحياه واحس بذنب انه انا قتلت انسان لا ما حد بيحب يقتل انسان او يلوث يديه بالدماء ما بخافش من الموت انا بخافش من الموت بس لاجل سوريا بخافش من الموت لاجل ابوي وهذا لو انه ما توفاش ابوي كان بخاف من الموت ما سمى بخافش من الموت لو انهم يذبحوني يموتوني يفجروني بقذيفه ما بخافش مو منه الحق ابوي ولا ظني بسوريا Je Hapfuye umuryango wanjye mwinshi bicaga abantu mbireba cyashobora kwibagirwa nuko no umuntu yazagate mundi mbireba n'amaso yanjye kuruhaye rwanjye numva ari ibintu nashobora kuba nakibagirwa kuko ni ibintu byabaye mbona ko ari ikintu kidasanzwe nkabona ko ntashobora kuba nakabiri gucyo kintu nalo ko ko mu mugihe cy'intambara nyine nari ndimo mvuga ikintu cyambabaje cyane ubwo twarahunze maze guhunga mbese ntandukana n'ababyeyi Maze kutandukana n’ababyeyi baho njyenyine baho ba mu masaka bamu hafi nk’ibyumweru bibiri uko mbese nyuma yaho umuntu araza aramfata arambwira ngo ngo ise ngo ngo uri igice jyewe rero kubera ko nta rundi umwana cyane ntabwo nari nzi gutandukanya umutu n’umututsi ntabwo nari mbizi muno ahubwo ngo ubwo akajya mfata akafata intoki zanjye akagenda afata umubiri wanjye akavuga ngo 
ngo ndo umututsi ngo nimba ntari umututsi ngo ndavangiye akayabwira abo bantu ngo nibandase ngo bankureho noneho nkavye mu gese murandase mu nyica muranyiciriki kare nta kibi nakoze muranyiciriki noneho ngo nyuma yaho haza ngo bararasa cyane amasasu menshi cyane maze kuba rasa amasasu menshi cyane ndirukaho noneho maze kwirukanka aho nge se hose kaje mbona ni mirambo y'abantu ni mirambo y'abantu amaraso noneho nge saho ubwo nahise nicara ndavuga nti mana bibo kushaka yena gira imana nkarokoka فوت عنا على البيت طبعا لقيت الباب مفتوح مخلوع خلع وكان في برا حفرة زاتين كانوا قنبلة فوت يعني تلاقيت أبوي مدد وأخوتي من وراء هيك لأنه أول ما فاتوا طخوا عنا بالبيت كان أبوي هو فتح لنا الباب وقال لنا فيش عنا حدا فيش عنا مقاتلين قالوا له طيب روح كانوا صافين أخوتي على الحيط وأمي قالوا له انت روح روح صف معهم وهو عم بعده عم بفتل بلش اطلاق النار طبعا طلقات اجوا بظهره وقلب وبلش اطلاق النار على جميع اخوتي انا كنت يعني بس اثناء المجزره ب 82 كنت شاب وعم بكمل دراستي يعني ما كنت افكر اني اكره الناس او احقد على حدا بس هاي المجزره طبعا خلتني اعيد التفكير بكثير امور يعني خلتني افكر مين بحبني مين بكرهني مين يعني ليش صارت هالشغله حتى صرت افكر بابعد من هيك فهي خلت يعني عندي حب الكراهيه وحب الانتقام والطأر وهيك انا ما كنت اصلا انسان ما مخلوق على هالشغلات هي بتصير مع الوقت او مع الاشياء اللي بتصير معه هو بتصير ان كان حب او كراهيه يعني مش من طبيعه الواحد يحب اي شخص الا من بعد ما يجربه فانا بس جربت هالمجزره وعشتها وعانيت منها صار عندي حب الكراهية للناس اللي ارتكبوها تقدر تسامحين إذا أنا قتلت بيك أو خيك وما ق... ما في قانون حسبني ما وصلك حقك تقدر تسامحيني أنت بتسامحيني إذا أنا قتلت خيك بتسامحيني أو بيك أو أمك أكيد ما راح تسامحيني نهائيا ما راح اسامح ولو بدي اطالع رقبتي ما راح اسامح تونغانا تنتي ميني سا سومو تاكي ميتي ميكو ناتشان تي باكا تنتي فريتي ميتي فونجي تونغانا مي فازو بكي بيتي مبي ايدي نانغوان دوزو فين بينا نيزو بيتي مبي ايدي بي فازو اكو او سي كامين بين اكو بكي بي فونجي ديجا فريتي ميزو مي كان باتلو سو كامين ديجا نامين زو اكو زو سيو Et si je fais quoi, si 10 ou 15, bien grand, c'est quand même ça. À l'ingé, on a déjà deux frères tombés sur. Malgré le coup, mais quand même, on a un zonga à coup de bâtiment. Les pays bêtes minent des gens, mais des gens de tranquille. À ce heure, vers quatre, même cette coupe à ta milouim, au val, t'es coach chez la Yehida chez lui. Il te faut se mettre bel, mettre bed, bekfar, befatay, shrem. Vers quatre, au val, t'es coach. היינו צריכים להוציא אותו וירינו על הקירות כדי שהוא ידע שאנחנו החזקים. ויצאה מהבית אישה עם ילדה לידיים וילדה קטנה לידה. זה היה שלוש לפנות בוקר והילדה בבהלה רצה לקראתנו. פחדתי שהיא תתפוצץ עליי ועל החיילים. צעקתי לה לעצור בערבית, היא לא עצרה. יריתי כדור מעל הראש שלה והיא עצרה. ובאותו רגע נעצר גם משהו בי. וזה היה הרגע הקצר הארוך ביותר בחיי. הילדה נשארה בחיים, וגם אני נשארתי בחיים. אבל באותו רגע מת משהו בשנינו. בילד שיורים עליו משהו מת, אני לא יודע מה, אבל משהו מת. במבוגר שיורה על ילד, משהו מת, וכשמשהו מת, משהו חדש, משהו חדש 
חייב להיוולד. התחושה של הבושה שיריתי בה, התחושה של הכאב, ובעיקר התחושה של פרק האצבע המורה ביד ימין שלחצה על ההדק, ירדה על ילדה. אני חושב שזו נקודה שמשהו חדש התחיל להיוולד. There was a moment, um, and the reason his face is, is always going to be with me, there was a moment when he looked at me, um, and our eyes kind of met, and at that moment, it was like everything else disappeared. There was no sound, and it was just two people looking each other in the eyes and just for a moment connecting as like two human beings in an event that is beyond any of their control. But at that moment, he, was, he wasn't a terrorist, he wasn't an insurgent, he wasn't an Iraqi. He was a scared man, and he was asking me for help. Um, from that moment on, um, the war changed for me. It became a little more scary, and it became a little more... Uh, I started to question decisions a little more. Um, because of that event, it... Um, it put a face. Um, that scared, crying uh, man peeing himself <laughs> could be any or all of them. One of the most impactful things that will occur after being in combat is the feeling of killing another human being. Once you've experienced it, you'll see that it's not like anything else that you've experienced before. And unfortunately, that feeling, your body will want to experience again. It's, it's really difficult to try to explain to somebody, explain to somebody what that feeling's like. Um, right now, I still feel like experiencing that again. And it's probably why I keep a loaded weapon in my house. I, yearn or desire for someone to try to to hurt me or to break in or to give me an excuse to use that violence against somebody else again
on the 16th of January 2007, an Israeli border police shot and killed my 10 years old daughter, Abir, in front of her school in Anata, where I live. She was with her sister and two other friends, 9.30 in the morning. In her head, in the back, from a distance of 15 to 20 meters, by a rubber bullet. Abir wasn't a fighter. She was just a child. She don't know anything about the conflict, and she is not part of this conflict. Unfortunately, she lost her life because she's a Palestinian. I'm an Israeli who lost his uh, daughter to a suicide bombing on the 4th of uh, September 1997. And I'm uh, a product of uh, of an education system. These are two societies at war, and uh, they socialize the young generation to make them being able to sacrifice themselves when time comes. And this is uh, true to Palestinian society, and this is also true to Israeli society. Because we are human beings, sometimes you think, if I kill, the killer, or anyone from the other side, from the Israelis, or maybe 10. This will give me back my daughter. No. I'll cause another pain and another victim to the others. I decide to break this circle of violence and blood and revenge by stop killing and revenge and support revenge by myself. My definition of sides have changed dramatically. Today, on my side are all those who want peace and are willing to pay the price of peace, and the other side are those who do not want peace and are not willing to pay the price of peace. Many people told me that it's not your right to forgive in her name. And the answer, it's also not my right to revenge in her name. I hope she, she's satisfied. I hope she rests in peace. A story that came out of the German army in the SS, in the ghetto, and in the same way, my mother said, take my child. And she told him that she took my head and took my head and took my head and took my head and took my head. כאמור, יהודייה בת שנתיים וחצי, והיא בלב כואב מספרת שהיא מעבירה אותי לידיים של איש מופלא במדי אס אס. היום אנחנו יודעים שאותו אדם, הלוי זה פלבה, שירת בצבא הגרמני, כי זה היה, הוא חי בגבול גרמניה, אבל למעשה הוא לקח אותי למעיל שלו, הכניס אותי לתוך המעיל שלו כתינוקת, ומעביר אותי אל... גבול גרמניה, פולין, לבית הוריו. והם מגדלים אותי, הוא מספר שאני בתו הלא חוקית, והם מגדלים אותי, הופכים אותי לנוצרייה קתולית, הם מגדלים אותי עד סוף המלחמה. איזה מחווה, איזה מקסם, איזה יד מושטת, חוויה של ניצוצות של אור בתוך דברים שהם נקראים טירוף של אנושות. אם אני רוצה ומעלה בדעתי לשאול את עצמי, האם אני הייתי יכולה להיות בתוך אחד המקומות האלה, ואולי הקשה ביותר, האם הייתי יכולה להיות במקום של אותו קצין גרמני? איך, איך, איך אנחנו יכולים בכלל לענות על השאלה הזאת? איך אפשר? אני לא מאמינה שהיה לי את כוחות הנפש האלה לעשות את זה. אם אני שואלת את עצמי את השאלה, אולי כן? איך הוא ידע שזה קרה לו? מי יודע שיש בתוכו, ואיך מתחברים אל אותו רגע אמת שאפשר להקריב את, את עצמך, את חייך היחידים, למען מישהו אחר? אולי שאלה ללא מענה, אולי שאלה שאחרים יוכלו לענות עליה, אבל זה כאילו מתבקש לשאול את זה.
El amor, <risa> el amor es el origen y es el fin. El amor es de donde venimos y a donde vamos y lo que pasamos en medio. El amor es todo. Amor. La palabra amor es muy significativa para mí. Porque cuando se habla de amor, lo abarca todo. Amor lo abarca todo, ¿verdad? Donde no hay amor, no hay nada. Estamos vacíos. O me siento vacía. Amor. Porque el amor, el amor es que llena el alma. Ah, ok. Eh, llevo 13 años con mi esposa. Una persona maravillosa. Somos de carácter diferente. Creo que por eso nos concatenamos. Pero... Es para mí alguien especial. Es, es mi otra mitad, femenina. La quiero mucho. Tenemos un niño de 11 años. Eh, puedo vivir sin ella, pero sin ella no puedo estar. ¿Entiendes? Creo que el amor es el día a día. Se vive todos los días. ¿Entiendes? Y el amor es, lo, es ese sentimiento que tú eres capaz de, como te expliqué, de transmitir y que te lo transmitan igual a ti. Mi esposa es una persona de un de fuerte, parece eh, el guía de la familia, pero la quiero mucho. <ríe> es magnífica. ¿Ok? Pienso que el amor le... El amor le... Ese sentimiento que buscamos y no todo el mundo lo encuentra, yo sí. ¿Ok? Si usted no tiene sexo, usted en el amor va fracasando. Oiga bien, porque a través del amor viene el sexo. Si usted no tiene sexo, usted va fracasando. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué dice esa mujer? Dice, no, pero ven acá. Este hombre me da amor, me da sexo, eh, me da amor, me da comida, me da ropa, me da todo. Pero no hay sexo. ¿Y qué voy a hacer yo? Este hombre ni furipa. ¿Qué va a ser el hogar? El hogar se va a destruir. Porque después del amor es eso. Y eso, y por eso viene el amor. De lo contrario, no hay nada. Sí. 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 Ay, sí. Sí, señor. Hola. Hola, hola. Así que como pasé en cuestión. Eh, que des amoureuses, euh, pour bien vous dire, jamais j'en ai eu. Je pas... C'est-à-dire que j'allais aux fêtes, mais j'allais pas au bal, parce que, pour vous dire la vérité, jamais je suis dansé. J'ai eu essayé, mais ça marchait pas. Alors j'ai abandonné. Quand je suis arrivé à la maison, je suis arrivé à la maison. 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 Je suis しかし、運がよかったかは、かつか知りませんが、私は気がつきましてね。そして、二人ともね、本当に泣いたんですよ。山の丘でね、あの、我々はこの世では一緒になれない。あの世で一緒になろうと言ってもそれもできなかった。私
Je pense que quand on épouse quelqu'un, on épouse quelqu'un euh, tel qu'il est. Voilà, à l'instant T, on l'aime, euh, il est comme ça. J'ai eu cet accident, euh, j'ai plus, plus de bras, plus de jambes. Elle n'a pas épousé un gars qui n'avait pas de bras et pas de jambes, quoi. Donc, euh, mais elle a tenu le choc pendant un, un certain paquet d'années, quoi, un certain nombre d'années. Et il y a eu ce qui arrive à tout le monde, on s'est séparés, quoi. Il y a eu un divorce, euh, et euh, il a fallu que je redémarre une nouvelle vie. Donc, euh, il a fallu trois ans pour que je guérisse de cette rupture, trois ans. Et au bout de trois ans, je me suis dit, mais tu ne vas pas rester tout seul. Donc, on vit dans une époque formidable, je me suis inscrit sur Internet, sur un site de rencontre. Et au début, j'avais mis que ma tête, que la photo de la tête. Le reste était dans la pochette surprise. <rire> pas de bras, pas de jambes, je ne l'avais pas montré. Et donc, euh, effectivement, je rigolais bien sur Internet. Et à partir du moment où j'ai annoncé mon handicap, il n'y avait plus personne derrière. Plus personne ne voulait me répondre. Alors, j'ai annoncé mon handicap. Et un jour, j'ai rencontré Susanna. Et voilà. L'amour aussi, c'est possible. L'amour aussi. Ça fait huit ans qu'on est ensemble. Susanna avec ses trois filles, moi avec mes deux garçons. On a un chien borgne, quatre chats, un cochon d'Inde. Voilà, c'est une grande famille recomposée. Et... Ouais, tout est possible. L'amour a été là une nouvelle fois. Et on s'aime vraiment très très fort. Donc c'est ça qui est cool. وقت ما قررت طلق وأصرت على القرار طلع زوجي على بيت أهلي وفات على البيت كان الباب مفتوح فات على البيت ضربني بالسكينة وهو هذا كان يمكن أصعب موقف بمرق عليه بحياتي إنه أنا عن جد شفت الموت قدام عيوني بس كمان كان كابوس ما صدقت إنه فكرت إنه كان يحكي حكي بس إنه يعملها ما كنت أتخيل مهما كانت صارت يعني إنسان حبني وحبيته وعشت معه عشر سنين وبناتنا أولاد فما صدقت قلت له شادي اسمه شادي ثواني كان صار ضاربني كم سكينة واعتبرت حالي حموت يعني إنه بصراحة شاهدت وقعت بأرضي صار بعد مشكل سريع طلع خيي على الصوت وهيدا الصدمة الثانية اللي كانت أنا بعدني سامع الصوت مش غايبة عن الوعي كتير الصدمة الثانية إنه بنتي فاتت على الصالون على الغرفة اللي أنا كنت مقتولة فيها طلعت تتصرخ ماما ماتت ماما مات هاي كانت يمكن أكتر أصعب شيء تمره بحياتي إنه أنا حس إنه بنتي فوت على المستشفى غرفة العمليات وأنا أقول للدكتور بنتي بنتي صرخ فيني الدكتور قال لي مش حاسي بحالك حاسي بحالك انسي بنتك وانسي كل العالم بنتي وامي خفت علينا كتير من الصدمة وكانت هاي بداية حياتي مش نهاية حياتي من وقتها صممت وقررت انه حياة عبير تتغير 360 درجة كان لازم انه تتغير الحمد لله لحد هلا بعد نصوم Alhamdulillah. After being married for 50 years, 49, 51 years, but my wife took seriously ill um, just before we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. And she suffered terribly for about two years as an invalid. For the last two years of her life, I was her nurse, I was her doctor, I was her friend, I was her lover, I was her husband. And I had to bath her, I had to feed her, I had to dress her, I had to push her around in a wheelchair and attend to her, all her needs. Um, everybody wanted me to get a nurse, full-time nurse, day and night nurse, to look after her because she couldn't sleep. She was up 24 hours a day at all odd times. And she begged me not to. She only wanted me to look after her. And I loved doing it for her. And I did it by myself. I carried her to the car. I carried her oxygen tank, I carried her wheelchair, I packed it in the car, I took it out, I pushed her around, I put it back, I took her home, I bathed her, I put her to bed, and I loved it, that I was able to do it for her without anyone else, and she appreciated it. That's love. <laughs> Hussain, 
จะมาเอาเมียร่างตายเป็นบาลจะมาบาลูเนเลบาอันเนเนเลจะมาอย่างอันเนเจกูเลยอีเอสเอสจะมาเอาเปลี่ยวเปลี่ยวบาลจะม
realtà no, io non avrei mai pensato e, e non mi sarebbe mai piaciuto essere un uomo. Perché la vita di un uomo è una vita facile, troppo. E le vite facili ti portano alla noia. È facile raggiungere gli obiettivi professionali, è forse anche più facile raggiungere la preda sentimentale. Per noi donne è tutto più difficile. Però eh, con la difficoltà c'è anche il fascino di arrivare alla meta con difficoltà. E quindi preferisco eh, senza dubbio essere donna. Eso es, es, es impotencia lo que siento cuando alguien mmm, piensa... Yo, eh, es más, llega alguien, al, alguna mujer más bajita al kiosco y hay algo alto y me dice, ay, a ver si viene un hombre y lo coge. Algún día un hombre va a venir, pega un puño y pega un sarto. Teniendo yo dos manos, a mí me va a hacer falta un hombre. Cago en el escopetín. Me da mucho coraje, me da mucha rabia. Esa es mi... No me gusta que... No me gusta que las mujeres... No quiero, no me siento bien cuando intentan discriminarme por ser mujer. Esa es la rabia o ese es el punto que yo más... Más me toca y más me molesta. Talá, ya, oye. Hata make-up, ¿sabes? ¿Molifti o la la? Y a mí, si se puede tallar a ella, ¿hay estar listo a ella o la la? هاي السحر يطلع فيه أول نظرة إلو عادي بس إذا رجعت طلع الثانية والثالثة فصارت عليه أنا أخذت اسم إنه لأني كنت حاطة ميكاب وأخذت اسمه لأنه طلع علي ليش لأني أنا فتنته وبتعرف الرجال إنه بيفتنوا بسرعة بجمال البنت فهيك هني عم يأخذوا اسم فهذا أنا اللي عم بعمله غلط يعني أنا مفروض إسلامي لما تحجبت عم بغطي إشي حلو عندي أنا هدفي إني أصير ملتزمة أكتر من هيك فبحب الشخص اللي ارتبط فيه ملتزم يعرف انه هاي الاشي غلط فيقول لي ممنوع تعملي هيك انا بمشيش غير هيك بالرص <تصفيق> انا يعني بصراحة ما اخد جوز يعني بحب هو ابن عمي ما فكرت بالحب انا كتير يعني هي صارت عادات وتقاليد مو اكثر <تصفيق> لهيك خليته بسوريا وهربت <تصفيق> لو بحبه كان جبته <تصفيق> مو Ahora me siento libre porque puedo hacer diferentes cosas sin medir el tiempo. Además, estoy divorciada. <risa> Perdón. <risa> Disculpe. <risa> Yo creo que eso no es relevante, ¿no? Perdón. ¿Quiere que lo haga otra vez? ¿Está bien? Yo sé que no es para sonreír esto, pero, pero me siento bien ahora, me siento libre. Mi marido tiene dos hijos. Él es poligami, él tiene dos hijos. Aquí en Senegal, tú ves, la poligami, hay gente que tiene cuatro hijos. Il y a des gens qui ont trois femmes, il y a qui ont deux femmes, mais il y a qui ont que, que une seule femme. C'est le choix. Mais même il y en a qui ont six, sept, huit, neuf, jusqu'à dix ans. Mais moi, mon mari a deux femmes. Deux femmes, je suis la première et l'autre est la deuxième. Et vraiment, nous vivons paisément. C'est mon ami, cette dame-là. Vraiment, il m'aime. Elle m'aime et moi aussi, je l'aime. Heureusement que chez nous, la polygamie chez les femmes, ce n'est pas possible. Parce que, j'ai dit heureusement pourquoi Parce que si ma femme devrait en aimer un autre plus moi, je suis sûr que ça n'allait pas être évident. Ça allait être très compliqué parce que moi, je suis extrêmement jaloux. Extrêmement jaloux. Je ne pourrais pas supporter que ma femme passe la nuit dans les bras d'un autre monsieur et puis le lendemain revenir passer une autre nuit avec moi. Je ne supporterai jamais ça. C'est pour ça que je dis que heureusement, que la polygamie chez les femmes n'est pas possible ici au Burkina, quoi. Parce que, ma foi, je ne m'imagine pas. When I went and stayed with my, with, my, with my wife at her house in San Francisco, she's not my wife, but the one I'm on with, the woman I'm with, she, this was about a week after we started dating. And I woke up in the morning, and I said, so, you know, I ask this of you, and this of you, and this of you. And, you know, you're hesitating. 
but like the woman I'm with can't have a, a list of no's. Like it's gotta be pretty much all yeses or we don't have a relationship. I mean, that's just where I'm at. And it took her about a month after I pointed that out to her to realize that these no's could not exist. And so that's how very little shitty my woman is. She's, she's freaking very unique, very amazing. She gives me, like, she was raised to, like, adore her man, like old school Mexican, like, know when to speak up. And that doesn't mean you can't tell me something. That doesn't mean you can't share. That doesn't mean I don't want guidance. But in my household, the man is the man of the house. Okay, à la maison les week-ends, c'est moi qui fais la cuisine. Et un jour, un ami est venu me voir en train de faire la cuisine. Et il m'a demandé que, mais écoute, Asen, c'est toi qui fais la cuisine? J'ai dit oui. Que, mais et ta femme, elle est malade? J'ai dit non, elle n'est pas malade. J'ai dit, mais elle se repose. Que tu laisses ta femme faire la cuisine? Et tu, tu fais la cuisine pendant que ta femme se repose dedans? J'ai dit oui, mais elle a, elle a besoin du chemin de repos. Et il m'a dit ce jour-là, ma femme ne viendra jamais te rendre visite. Pas tout simplement parce que tu vas lui mettre des idées à la, dans, dans la tête. Et quand elle va revenir à la maison, je risque de faire la cuisine moi aussi. Et je lui ai dit non, je dis, mais il faut, il faut que tu comprennes parce qu'en en fait, elles ont besoin de ce repos-là. Moi, en tout cas, ça me fait plaisir souvent lorsque je fais la cuisine pour toute la famille. out of being abused. For me, it was tough because I used to have the worst abuse. I would have a gun put to my head and 
get told to go on my knees and beg for my, my life. Um, and I would do it just, my kids used to be watching. Or I get put out, out of the house, I get kicked out of the house and have to sleep outside on the steps. And if I moved from there, I would get a hiding the next day. It was tough because I thought it was me. I was the one that was doing something wrong in our marriage. Um, and one day, I went to work and um, I was sitting in my office and I thought, I closed my door, I can remember that day very well. I closed my door and I cried. I had just been battered the, ne the night before and I thought I needed to move on. And um, one particular woman came and knocked on my door and she said, can I come inside? And I said, yeah, and she said, I need to talk to you. And you know, we had this conversation about the abused woman. And um, I said to her, I'm not being abused. And she said, Denisha, yes, you are. It's all over your face, but people won't see it because I always, like I said, love to smile. Um, and then we spoke about my kids. And, you know, when I started talking about my kids, those were the most important thing of my life. And I thought, if I don't move on out of here, I'm either going to be dead or my kids are going to be dead. So I need to move on. I need to do something. And I went home that day and I said to him, I'm leaving. Um, and I think Mark got a bit of a shock because he didn't realize that I was leaving. And he said, no, you'll never leave me. You've never, you will never leave me. You love me too much. And I said, well, you know what? That's what love is about, leaving. And I gave him two choices, and I only gave him two choices. I said to him, you either go for counseling or I leave. And you know what? Today he's a better man. He's never lifted a hand up for me ever since the day. That's about nine years ago. So nine years ago, I was still an abused woman. So...
I am gay. And I've known, I've liked girls ever since I was a little girl. And I kept it a secret for my family. And my dad, I remember when Ellen DeGeneres came out, it was the first time I ever heard of the word gay before. And my parents were talking about it. And I asked my dad, Dad, what is gay? And he goes, it's a girl who likes another girl and they're going to hell. And so I said, OK. And I walked straight up to my room, closed the door very quietly, and then I bawled my eyes out into my pillow. And I prayed to God every day to please let me like boys. Please make me straight, because I knew I liked girls. And so I tried. I tried pretending I liked boys and stuff, but I never did. And then I met, to me, the love of my life. And her name was Jen. And gosh, it was just like my world changed. And I didn't really care about anything else. I just knew I wanted to be near her. And that was love to me. Hmm. Yeah, being a lesbian is not a choice, man. Something that is inside you. And that is, that no one can, can help or it's not curable or it's not a disease actually. Because they always say we sick. They, the, our families even take us to the doctors, to the sangomas. But ah, you just stay there. It's difficult with my grandmother because she doesn't approve with, with me being a lesbian. And she hates the fact that I'm one. Even I had to leave home and go stay on the streets because the, of my sexuality. I even had to force myself with guys so that my granny can approve to get my granny's approval. And it hurts because I had to do stuff that I don't know, I really, really didn't want to do. Even though I did that, I even asked a friend of mine who is a dude to pretend as if he's my boyfriend. But that guy, what he did, he forced himself to me, and then he left me with HIV. And that was in 2003. I did all that just to get my granny's approval. But now, I know that I don't have to do anything to please someone else. Mes parents, ils avaient, mes parents ils avaient tellement peur que je reste homosexuel que quand je leur ai dit que je changeais, ils s'y ont vraiment cru. Et euh, même si mes parents ils me posaient des questions tous les jours, ils me demandaient « c'est bon, t'as changé C'est bon ?» Et comme le sexe, c'est pas possible de changer, je fais comme si j'ignorais la question, je me prends pas la tête. Et au bout d'un moment, mon père, euh, il n'en pouvait plus. Donc euh, il s'est mis à m'engueuler, à me crier dessus, à me frapper et à me dire euh, « me dire, je sais que t'as pas changé, je sais que t'es toujours comme ça. » Et à me dire, si tu te fous de ma gueule, moi je vais te faire vivre un enfer et tu dois partir maintenant si, si vraiment t'es comme t'es. Alors je suis parti. J'ai pas hésité une seconde, je suis parti. Ne pas se sentir reconnu, ne pas se sentir compris, ne pas se sentir aimé tout simplement dans sa famille. Et ne... Aimer, oui, mais et pas aimer pour ce que l'on est. On a envie de partager quelque chose. Quand un homo, il sait pas si c'est mal ou pas mal. Et si on lui dit, mais c'est bien ça, enfin c'est bien, c'est comme ça, il pense plus. Quel, quel, c'est à peu près comme quelqu'un qui sait, qui, qui sait pas s'il va avoir un cancer. Il sait pas s'il a un cancer ou pas. Et si on lui dit, mais t'en as pas un, à, à un homo, il se demande ce qu'il a. Il sait pas si c'est si c'est grave ou pas grave et qu'est-ce que ça va faire. Donc si on lui dit, mais ça y a rien de plus merveilleux qu'un qu que des parents qui disent et puis t'es t'es homo et puis. La seule chose, c'est qu'il faut que tu sois heureux. Pour moi, c'est tellement évident que c'est ce épui qui manque souvent. I have a son who's now 31 years old, um, who I love very much. Uh, he's gay, a gay man, and the day that he came out was quite significant. Um, I knew that he was struggling with something. He'd been suicidal, and he was 18 years old. And he said to me one day, Dad, I've got to tell you something. And I said, OK, son, uh, tell me, what is it? And he's, he, went, he went pale. He really went white. And he said, 
oh, I feel sick. And my heart really went out to him. And at that moment, I kind of knew that he was going to tell me he was gay. Although I hadn't made that connection, um, because he's quite masculine in his, in his traits. Um, but just at that moment, I had a sense that that's what he was going to tell me. So I said to him, son, let me guess. Let me make it easier for you, I'll guess. And he said, yeah, OK. And I said, you're going to tell me you're gay, aren't you? And he, he went, yes, I am. And, um, and I, I, just, I just really, really felt for him because it was such a struggle for him to tell me that. And everything sort of made sense because he didn't want to be gay and that's why he'd been suicidal. And so I just gave him a big hug and said, I love you anyway, son. It doesn't make any difference to how much I love you. And I think that our, our relationship has really been a lot stronger since then. Um, so that's been a journey in itself. Я пригласил человека к себе домой, с которым мы уже раньше общались. И потом, когда я что-то готовил на кухне, он параллельно открыл дверь, пустил своего приятеля. И мне дали бутылкой по голове. Кругом были осколки, было много крови. К моему горлу поднесли осколок бутылки, нож. И сказали, что сейчас меня убьют, потому что я... Гей. Естественно, слово гей звучало не так. Была нецензурная лексика. Мне было безумно страшно, и у меня все пересохло во рту, и, и параллельно я кучу мыслей, наверное, перекрутил. Я, я понимал, допустим, что я же не боюсь умирать. Почему мне так страшно? И я понял, что я просто не хочу умереть сейчас. Я вспомнил, как год, годом раньше я был на похоронах своего знакомого, которого убили, потому что он был геем. Я вспомнил те случаи, когда, когда действительно убивали людей. Мне стало очень страшно. On l'a enterré dans le, le cimetière de son village. Mais l'imam de, de ce quartier, et il a rassemblé les gens de la quartier, des jeunes du quartier. Ils sont partis au cimetière pour déterrer ce corps, enlever, attacher et traîner comme ça dans la rue. Et les médias, il y avait certains médias qui étaient là qui fumaient ça. Et, La police est venue. Après, la famille a récupéré le corps encore, allé enterrer le corps. Ils sont partis encore déterrer. On l'a déterré trois fois. Et finalement, on a enterré le corps dans la cour de son père. Parce qu'on dit que la religion musulmane dit quand on est homosexuel, si tu meurs, on n'a pas le droit de prier de ton corps. On n'a pas le droit de t'enterrer dans le cimetière musulman. C'est ça qu'il disait. Je suis un gay man de Lebanon et nous n'avons pas de droits là-bas. Et nous n'avons pas de droits dans le monde arabe en général là-bas. Et je pense que ce que je peux faire plus, ce que j'ai commencé à faire, c'est que je devrais sortir encore plus. Je suis sorti à mes parents, je suis sorti à mes amis, je suis sorti à mon travail, mais je pense que I think I want to encourage other people like me, um, which have nothing to lose. Because I have a salary, because my mom, it's proven with time, it took a time, but she's gonna love me anyway now, she knows. She knows my boyfriend, she loves me for the way I am, my dad as well, my friends as well. Um, I think if you don't tell anyone, um, the other moms won't know that it's okay to be gay. So they're not gonna know that being gay is not just about being a drag queen or dressing like girls or being just a hairdresser maybe or a makeup artist and they need to know that people should be less shy people should be more daring when you have nothing to lose because some people have a lot to lose and those are not the people that should do the change but the ones that have nothing to lose
In, in Iraq, one of my friends was hit with a car bomb in front of me, and I chased after the trigger man with my, uh, with my squad, with one of my teams. And we were just, we wanted to kill that guy, because I can hear my buddy screaming, you know, he was hurt. And so we're running as fast as we can, and we just, just full of hate and fury, and we just want to do whatever we can to just, you know, he hurt our friend, we're going to get him back. And we're just running, sprinting as fast as we can with all that weight, just sweat pouring off of us uh, through orange fields. And then we get to a clearing and, um, yeah, it hit me. I mean, the blue sky, it was an old man in a white robe and a child just tilling a field, you know, and that just bring me back to reality. I'm like, what am I doing, you know? I'm a human being. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not some instrument of what revenge. I guess I don't know. I, you know, it's just like you stop and you're like, just people doing people things here where I'm supposed to, you know, where, where all this violence is happening, and you stop and you're like, um, I don't know, makes you human again, you know. So, yeah, the nature, the beautiful, the beauty of it, uh, it all can, uh, you know, break that, that spell, I guess. I... يعني لما بيشتغل بالأرض يعني سبحان الله هي اللي بتعطيك بصمت يعني ما بتحسي فيها إنه والله ضاجة منك أو بتسمعك كلام أو كذا فبتشتغلي فيها أنت بتعطيك بصمت وبتعطيك على قد ما بتشتغل فيها على قد ما بتخدم هي انت هي كمان بتخدمك على احسن وبصمت بدون اي رده فعل منها هي ف وجميل جدا وممتاز انه الانسان لما بيشتغل اي شغله وبيلاقي رده فعل وبيلاقي انتاجه انه ظاهر له بيتناوله امتى ما بده باسهل طريقه ممكنه هي الشعور الاجمل يعني Quando a gente vai pegar a base de feijão para apanhar e quebrar a espiga de milho, oh, é uma alegria. Eu mesmo amanheço o dia de hoje, já no meu roçado, buscar meu colo de feijão e minhas espigas de milho para mim comer. Aí ganho o roçado, quando eu chego é feijão, maduro, é seco, é milho, oh, é uma alegria. A gente fica, parece que fica 
Aquilo, a alegria é tão grande que a gente chega no roçado, chega da vontade da gente ficar ali em pé, que é bonito. Um roçado de milho, um roçado de feijão é bonito. Mas cada vez a gente fica mais corajosa. Aonan, menam nagar lene ilenyem. Aon tenish marat yalech salai godare menam bazafay kofre balalo. Ine wandim baka ine bal malet su aon krail sarto bir tenishim biagin lamate dal menam nagar ine ga ilenyem. Baka betus yalechu and doro bichana yalech basa unkulal katalech osije shije basa chau menam bet yalon amatiche balichya dalalo. Bakakat, 
de betsaka de misy ny atao hoe zany hoe fitiana masombolo fitiana sesika tsy voaverin'ny le ovy tsy voaverin'ny le vary de matsiaro zany tantsafa tena matsiaro tena hoe mangiry fy tena tsiampy de azo lazaina hoe izay izao ohatra ny hoe azo lazaina hoe olona tsiampy sakafo zany ne sady nonone raha izany no tantarainy eto fa efa moa zany tokoa azo tantaraina zany hoe nonona zany oe ame sakwe sakwe moa même joseph estima joseph me dit la vem fini na peia putet et la pluie va tomber pour mon ta mettre en un en bataille pour ta joie pour vivre à madame moi petit tout alors et bon moi pas gain bois dans la région encore pour dou comme ça ou à rentrer ou pour le faire ou ou je ne te chou bois pour racher pour font sac chabon ou que doit faire journée là des jours ou pas joie ou pas gain pour manger pour bail petit monde petit monde après dans pied et au pas besoin nous on monde paraît pour dire ben mon cher mais ça pour que ben ça pour pédo dans pays là déjà c'est coucher tout on a coucher pour nous mourir parce que la vie ça que la vie finir on va tout coucher là on va tout être là on va gagner pour petit monde on va gagner pour bal on va gagner on va gagner monde d'abao et ben on va tout coucher mourir et ça que la vie finir déjà la vie finir déjà à on pas gomber pour vendre Oui. Oui, là vous finissez net. Oui. Ab ghar mein na kuch rahi aadmi ab ta uga no jai bahar hai ta chuha ka bi aliya ma sakari ta u aadmi ko ya ha chuha ka bi thi mein ba ta kaare jaya thi kare jaya dhare ja khachi mein ta ho hi ek bora ta le ka hamne ke aaye ja अब फिर बिहार वाला खाना कब जरे सौकार बना ला सच चल तो धान मिली देखो भगवान का मुँह चीर ला इतना सारा मामनी के ऐनी जा भगवान दख तकल तो हमने का दिल है ना तो ले के आए भी जा घूमत घूमत रह भी जा कौन हो भगवान ताक दिया तो हमने का मिल जाए चलिए आए भी जा चुहा का बियाल में से लगा इक्कीस मात मांग � Pat bang ti jum rok, ta krom hon thua baib ni, bu kha nyom kư chi sát rư ko chi mnu. Krom hon nè chi prat thiên krom hon mà nè nè ko chi mnu nè kê đai. Chá xâm nai bu kha nyom ko chi mnu nè kê đai hai đáy mò bằng plan tè xâm bái. Đâm nà mật bó bu kha nyom chào đòi khám miên sẵn nà baib ni nè rô đòi xa bái nè rô đòi xa. Sra ngang ko, bì nè sra ai. Chá nè khlai chi nè miên. Man got our son, it's like that. Next slide, good, me and Chibet, the little day. Ja, Runo, net ban, pal, ban and go hop, got our son, it's like. Ban net chicken, one net mob and plant, they run it's like. Jang net cat mob in there, net got your junk, you come out with clear eye. It'll go, net man, man, you junk, you come out. Net man, as all come out with clear there. Net mob and plant, you bet, mob and plant, there's a mind, they delayed about four pinum. Do you have to pay for the money? Do you have to pay for the money? Yes, it's not. I don't have to pay for the money. 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 तेजोपन गेट लेना है तेरी काय में तेरे सती भी आता पेट लेना है मुन्ना आशा तक कुनी कर सो दिया सा काय कर रहे सा पानी तर कशाला सना है हीरी एक सुधा होती थी पन आटली पानी सना है आसमान कर सर फिटा सा कसा मनों तेरी अपला दूसरा काय This year, I was covering a very severe drought in Western Maharashtra, in this country. And on the one hand, I was looking at people 
you know, facing destitution due to a water crisis. On the other hand, I was looking at multi-storied buildings coming up with a swimming pool on every floor. We're not talking about buildings with three floors or four floors. There is a plan for two twin towers in Mumbai, even now under construction, 37 floors each, which means there are 74 swimming pools. It's a twin tower. And then I went and looked at who are the people doing the construction? Who are these laborers? All the laborers were landless laborers and marginal farmers who had left their villages as refugees of the water crisis, and they're in the cities building our swimming pools. The sheer humiliation of it, the sheer injustice of it. I think the fastest growing sector in India is not software or IT, it is inequality. So yeah, it makes me furious. It is completely unacceptable to me to see how closely the affluence of the few is tied to the misery of the many. That's unacceptable.
আমি একজন বাংলাদেশি মানে গার্মেন্টস কর্মী হিসাবে যেটা আমার কাছে সবচেয়ে মানে অগ্রহণযোগ্য সেটা হলো যে যখন আমাদের কোম্পানির ওনার বা আমাদের মার্কেটিং সাইটে যারা আছে তারা যখন বাইরের সাথে প্রাইস নেগোসিয়েশনে বসে একটা কোনো বিষয় নিয়ে তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে যখন দেখা যায় যে অন্যান্য দেশে যখন তারা প্রাইস নেগোসিয়েশন করে বাংলাদেশের সময় সব সময় চিন্তা করে যে প্রাইসটা একটু স্লো হবে যদি বাইরেরা এটা চিন্তা করে এইভাবে যে আসলে কোয়ালিটি ফুল গার্মেন্ট কোয়ালিটি ফুল গার্মেন্ট যদি বাংলাদেশ থেকে যায় তাহলে ন্যায্য মূল্য কেন আমি দিব না তাহলে তো আমরা সবসময় অবহেলিতই হচ্ছি ঠিক না তো এটা তো এটার জন্য তো ওয়ার্ল্ডই দায়ী এটার জন্য তো বেসিক্যালি কেউ এককভাবে দায়ী না 
কারণ এটার জন্য যার সাথে আমার যে ফাইনাল কাস্টমার সেই আমাকে ঠকাচ্ছে তা আমি কি করতে পারি বাট ক্যান হোয়াট উই ক্যান হাউ উই বি হ্যাপি হাউ然后我们厂里面的规矩是很多的上班不准聊天上班不准接电话还有上厕所的话也要上上面领导要跟领导说可以去才可以去只有一个人可以去两个人就不可以去每去每去还有那个产量很高哦他每个小时规定的产量他每个小时会来检查如果你没有完成的话他会说你的话有时候还骂骂得很厉害心里都好慌每个小时都好紧张好紧张因为我觉得真的好累了受不了但是没办法呃, les véhicules, je montais les pédaliers. Et donc pour monter les pédaliers, il fallait que je prenne ce pédalier qui faisait environ 5 kg. C'est pas énorme hein, pour quelqu'un qui fait du sport tout le temps. Ça va quoi. Mais en fait, ce pédalier, il, fa il fallait passer au-dessus de la voiture. Donc avant, il euh, n'y a, a pas les capots de la voiture. Donc moi, il fallait que je passe par le dessus, mon ventre effleurait la voiture, et il fallait que j'aille le mettre à l'intérieur comme ça. Et donc, en fait, c'est tous les muscles du dos qui travaillent et qui se relèvent. Et au début, bah, c'est une pièce qui n'est pas évidente à mettre. Donc, on force parce qu'on n'arrive pas et ainsi de suite. Donc, euh, on travaille, on travaille le dos et ça fait mal. Et on transpire, ça dégouline. Et on se lève la tête et on a pris du retard. Donc, il faut se dépêcher, il faut courir. Et là, on a l'impression que la chaîne, euh, elle va beaucoup plus vite que ce qu'on pensait. Là, vraiment, c'est difficile. Et il y a des gens qui viennent euh, et qui vous disent euh, « accélère ». Accélère, là tu es en retard, tu vas faire couler les autres derrière toi, c'est pas bon, il faut que tu accélères. Va plus vite, ainsi de suite. Donc ils viennent, ils vous remontent un peu, et vous recoulez à nouveau. Et ça, c'est pendant toute une nuit, parce que moi je suis arrivé de nuit à l'usine, je travaillais de nuit. Et on fait ça pendant, pendant toute une nuit, en fait. Et quand on arrive à la maison, on s'aperçoit que finalement, euh, on vient de faire du sport. Mais on vient de faire du sport à la fois avec son corps et avec son esprit, parce que... Euh, on est, on, on est sans cesse en train de mener un combat avec le côté euh, j'arrête, je me casse, je rentre chez moi, parce que ça c'est un travail de. C'est un travail d'esclave où, où je lâche pas et je continue, il n'y a pas de raison, il y en a qui arrivent, pourquoi moi j'y arriverai pas. Moi pour ma part j'ai continué, mais pendant un mois, quand je rentrais chez moi, j'étais obligé de mettre un oreiller sous mon ventre, tellement euh, physiquement. Euh, mon corps tenait plus. Quoi. Une personne qui travaille honnête n'est pas riche. Je parle d'une personne qui travaille dans, dans ce genre de société, qui n'a pas hérité d'entreprise, qui, 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 qui a fait juste tourner des millions d'euros de, de, dans une entreprise. Pour moi, ces gens-là, ils ne travaillent pas. Ils sont derrière un bureau, ils font des signatures, ce pas des travailleurs. Si ça se trouve, c'est autant des voleurs que moi. C'est sûr et certain, même, j'en suis sûr. Moi, pour moi, quand j'y... Quand, quand, quand vous me dites travailleur, pour moi, c'est quelqu'un qui se lève tous les matins, qui va, qui, qui, qui va vraiment faire du travail, quoi. Pour, personnellement, je ne connais personne de riche. Je ne connais personne de riche. Pourtant, j'ai regardé, moi, j'ai ma mère, elle s'est levée, levée tous les matins. Aujourd'hui, elle a 40 ans, 40 ans passés. Elle n'est pas riche. Elle a travaillé toute sa vie. Вже дев'ять років, як я поїхала з своєї любимої України, поїхала я на заробітки в Париж. Працюю я тут, прибираю різні роботи. Прибираю, гуляю з собакою, дивлюся дітей, доглядаю дітей, хто куди покличе. Допомагаю бабусі, тут є така бабуся старша, теж полюбила мене. Люди мене люблять і, напевно, те, Тепло, яке вони мені дають, а я віддаю їм своє тепло, так і підтримує мене тут, так як вогник маленький. І тут я так проживаю. Но те тепло і той вогонь, який був вдома, то я не можу вам передати вдома. От уже 9 років. Приїхала я в 40 років. Деякі роки у моїй молодості пройшло тут, за границею, в Парижі. І не можу сказати, що погано тут. Но 
то рідне, то гніздечко, ота моя хатинка, в якій я виросла, в якій я зросла, і де горить вогник, коли я прийду, і мама мене буде чекати при світлі, той вогник мене кличе додому, до України. Мої діти і моя мама, вони на мене чекають. І, напевно, тут все є, багатство є, все є. Але я не знаю, чи то в мене така душа, вона рветься додому. Ді чан ка пен пу юнг тамган ган кюн, на ха. Ді чан тонг сія сала тук янг, пе кроб куа, на ха. Па ме ді чан ка там лай там суан. ไม่ได้มีฐานะที่ดีดิฉันก็เลยต้องดิ้นรนค่ะเมื่อก่อนยังมียังมีแฟนช่วยหรือว่าฮัสเบิร์นนะคะทีนี้แบบคือเราต้องแยกทางกันนะคะมันมันเป็นปัญหาที่แบบว่ามันไม่ดีเลยเหรอคะดิฉันก็เลยต้องทำงานหนักคนเดียวเพื่อจะส่งเสียให้ลูกสาวได้เรียนได้มีความรู้ที่ดีแล้วก็อยากให้เขาไม่อยากให้เขาลำบากเหมือนเหมือนตัวเกเองนะคะไม่ดิฉันไม่อยากให้เขาลำบากดิฉันยอมเหนื่อยยอมเหนื่อยยอมคือเหนื่อยเหนื่อยมากๆเลยค่ะเหนื่อยมากๆบางครั้งก็มันเป็นอะไรที่แบบว่าไม่รู้จะอธิบายให้ใครฟังค่ะดิฉันต้องต้องต้องเสียสละมากมากPues sí, pues nosotros andamos cortando caña y es muy duro el trabajo de nosotros. Pero pues a ver qué nos queda, que tenemos que trabajar aunque, aunque sentamos duro el trabajo, de, porque no nos queda otra. Y, pues ahí la pasando, aunque sentimos que nos quema el sol, pero pues ahí andamos trabajando. Tenemos que echarle ganas para que tengamos que comer, si no, pues no hay nada para comer. Estos son sabores que están polimegalos. Και περισσότερο μεγάλο ήταν το σοκ που δεν μπορούσα να, ξα... να ξαναβρω δουλειά. Ξέρεις, εγώ δούλευα 27 χρόνια περίπου. Όταν ε, αναγκάστηκα να γυρίσω πίσω στη μητέρα μου, αισθάνθηκα... Το πρώτο μου συνέστημα ήταν ταπείνωση, δηλαδή είναι αυτό που... που σε κάνει και σε καταρακώνει. Σιγά σιγά αυτό η καταράκωση πήγαινε όλο και πιο κάτω, σε έστανε και πιο κάτω, πολύ κάτω. Σε αναγκάζει να λες ότι, ωραία, είμαι 47 χρονών, τελείωσε η ζωή μου. Αυτά είχα να δώσω. Δεν έχω να δώσω τίποτα άλλο. Και αυτές οι σκέψεις σε κάνουν να μην θε να βγεις έξω από το σπίτι σου, να μην θες να μιλήσεις τον ίδιο, να πηγαίνεις να βλέπεις τον εαυτό σου τον καθρέφτη και να λες, ποιο είσαι ρε μαλάκα, τι κάνεις. Τι κάνεις, τι προσφέρεις σε αυτή τη ζωή, γιατί ανασένεις. Γιατί να βλέπεις τον ήλιο εσύ. Τι είναι αυτό που σε κάνει χρήσιμο μέλος αυτό, σε αυτό το, το μπουρδέλο εδώ που ζεις. Τι είναι. Γιατί αναγκάστηκες να πας στα 47 σου χρόνια στη μάνα σου. Γιατί φοβήθηκε να μείνεις στον δρόμο. Ναι, φοβήθηκα να μείνεις στον δρόμο. Αυτή η ταπείνωση μετά γίνει το οργή. Γίνει το οργή γιατί θες να ξεσπάσεις σε κάπου και δεν ξέρεις πού.
जब जब पाकिस्तान से मैं निकला था तो जैसे जो हालात थे वहाँ पे कि स्पेशली मेरी वाइफ को भी पता था कि जैसे हमारे हालात हैं उधर मैं अपने बच्चों को सपोर्ट नहीं कर सकता था अच्छी तलीम सेहत नहीं दे सकता था उसकी कुर्बानी है मेरे लिए मेरी फैमिली के लिए मेरी भी कुर्बानी है मेरी फैमिली की भी कुर्बानी है कि उन्होंने मुझे इजाज़त दी कि मैं बाहर जा के कुछ ऐसा कर सकूँ कि कम अज़ कम अपने बच्चों को तालीम दे सकूँ अच्छी सेहत दे सकूँ और उनकी वो तमाम बुनियादी ज़रूरियात को पूरा कर सकूँ और जिस दिन मैं पाकिस्तान से निकला था वो दिन नहीं बोलता मेरे दोस्त थे मेरे साथ कुछ मेन गेट से मेरी अम्मी आई हैं बाहर निकली हैं उन्होंने मेरा बेटा उठाया था वो गोद में तो मैं जब गाड़ी में बैठा हुआ था तो मेरा बेटा उन्होंने मेरी गोद में ला रखा था मुझे बोला था कि इसको देख ले पता नहीं कब नेक्स्ट टाइम तू उसे देखेगा तो वो मुझे नहीं बोलेगा कभी भी वो मेरा बच्चा मेरी आंखों में अभी तक मुझे वो नज़र आ रहा है ऐसे Corruption, c'est ça qui mine mon pays. Il y en a tellement de corruption. Moi, j'ai un niveau CAP. J'ai pas pu, je n'ai pas pu trouver juste un petit travail qui peut me donner un salaire autour de 40 000 ou 50 000 pour avoir une petite rémunération à la fin du mois. J'ai pas pu. Il me faut avoir les contacts, les relations, tout ça. Je suis fils de pauvre, c'est pas de ma faute. Je suis né fils de pauvre et je regrette pas. Je dis merci à mes parents chaque jour. Je n'avais pas mes parents d'être pauvres, c'est pas eux qui ont voulu. Mais mon pays, quand tu es pauvre, t'as pas trop bonheur. Mais c'est pas ça la vie. Allah n'a pas de Soudan, 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 n'a pas de Soudan. ونحن نزاد نزاد غايت بس المهم أنقذني بس يندق يعني ربنا بس أدانة طول العمر بس وصلت هنا في فرنسا وخرجت من البلاد وأنا كان ما أعرف نفسي أن أكون حي بطريقة زي ذات يعني أنا كنت تعبان نفسيا يعني كنت فقدت وصرت كله والحمد لله أنا زاد كنت تعبان شديد وأزبوني ودقوني وربطوني أغنى الواحد أكل ما يأكل من الصباح وقلت لك تصفق بتشير وقول لك أكل أنت ما بشر زاد أنت حيوان اعتبار يعني وأنا قدامي كده أختصب أخواتي قدامي أنا لما مرة لما جات مرة ذاتها قاموا جلدوها وقاموا يختصوا مرتي قدام انا وانا بكون حي انا اقدر اقعد كيف في البلد زي ده ونحن ناس مساكين نحن ناس مزارية بنزرع بناكل منا بنشتغل حبة تجارة بنصرف منا والحمد لله نحن ما 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 جعانين والله نحن الحمد لله ببلدنا نحن بنزرع زراعة بكفينا وعندنا بهايم ما شاء الله ما ما, ما يعني عندنا بهايم ما شاء الله يعني ما ما ناقصين ما ناقصين في او او قروش ما ناقصين في ان 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 اكل والحمد لله نحن مرتاحين بنزرع بناكل لكن الحكومه ما ريحتنا حكومه كيف نحن نقدر نقعد في البلاد؟ When I was in the boat I I was very scared because I don't see nothing absolutely only a water and the boat also It's not a quality boat. We are 110 people inside the boat. I'm nobody comfortable because no food to eat, no water to drink. Yeah, you are sitting in that fuel. You know, destroy all my body. Things was hard for me. So when I when I see the Italian, they come and rescue us. Yeah, I thank God. Yeah, I know that now I'm safe. Nous avons des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Nous avons des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Nous avons des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Nous avons des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Nous avons des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Nous avons des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Nous avons des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Nous avons des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Nous avons des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Nous avons des gens Ni dok, ni dok, ni dok, ni dok, bodoh. Kamu jalan nama mana? Kamu nani mana? Yang ada mana? 
Brun Espagne di Italy même xass nga bu dundu dal dafa bokku sama derep dem rek jar ci galé dem di yoxoy dem di joy di dem dem rek now i am living in jungle of kali and i try too much to go to london but the border is very clo- very close it is not uh, possible for anybody in the, pe- the people ask me about the money but i don't have any money because i don't have anybody in my back and i don't have anybody in my front now i live in jungle the police come and they dis- disturb us and they said you have to leave the jungle i said we i i have to go we i have to go show me the place we want to go to that he said you have to go back to your country i said where is my country i don't have a country man it's a killing ground it's a ground of killing the the people it's a ground of, of, of fighting it is not a country it's a afghanistan is not a country now it's a killing ground man 37 countries come to control that country but they cannot control these people the union cannot control these people how can i you you have to send me back to that country and they, kid, they i lost my family in that country how can i go to that country back i was refugee in pakistan i was refugee in iran i was refugee in uh, dubai i was refugee in and uh, turkey i was refugee in bulgaria i was refugee in european country in greece and i now i'm i'm a refugee in france but let me to live man i don't want anything from you i don't want anything from you i don't from want any anything from you i don't need the help but le- let me to live je m'étais fait arrêter et conduit dans un commissariat par la police et là ils m'ont demandé mes papiers plus précisément ma carte de séjour Je leur ai dit que je n'avais pas. Ils ont insisté et je leur ai répondu que quand je naissais, je ne suis pas sorti du ventre de ma maman avec les papiers. Ils disent, mais on veut tes papiers. Je leur ai dit, je suis citoyen du monde. Partout où je me trouve, j'ai le droit à la vie. Sans papier, est-ce que je n'ai pas droit à la vie? Je suis un peu plus de l'Italien. Alhamdulillah, je suis un peu plus de l'Italien. I ben ganyero itinga na kontolo me bikona alhamdulillah na konflene itela halishini be gogo ko joro seba nyoko na ni balmom ni shinji mumbe alishini ne be ka obela jela na joro akon gane de men doye ni na nyesoro be ka feina awde be ka feini fasore ni afansoro ya rabbi ma ala hakili bola jen fara la haraka anga nyoko de men doye ali bi se konten folo ma anga nyoko de men doye be bela jela ngon fo
Moi-même, moi, c'est un pauvre. Je définis la pauvreté maintenant. Qui ça pour moi une pauvreté? C'est là que j'ai besoin de l'école. Je n'ai pas l'école. J'ai besoin de manger. Je n'ai pas manger. J'ai besoin de dormir. Je n'ai pas dormir. Petit, moi, madame, moi, tout a souffert. Là, je n'ai pas eu un niveau intellectuel qui a avancé pour me sortir dans une situation mieux ni mon mieux là me senti vraiment pauvre corps physique pauvre mental la pauvre et ou même riche qui attendait qui ça que nous voulait parler des riches là so i i know that that i'm less happy with more money and I know that I still want more. And um, it's, it's, it is a, it reminds me, you know, whether it's sex or money or, or any of these transient things, um, somehow you can't rationalize yourself into um, wanting less. I like things and I, I pursue the things, but the things only make me happy for a short period of time. And and uh, and then I go back and I have the challenges of my family and I and I don't know how to to make a depressed person happy. You can't you can't give them a thing and make them happy because their brain is not happy. So I, I feel frustrated that that the, the cures don't exist and I can't just wave a magic wand and make my son. Better. Eu morava num lugar aonde era cercado de mansões e eu morava em barraco e eu sabia que aquelas pessoas às vezes 
jogava comida fora no lixo. E a gente, eu principalmente, com fome, querendo um pouco de comida para comer. Para mim, a pobreza me entristece, mas me entristece por causa da injustiça. Porque se todo mundo tivesse alimento, pelo menos alimento, em casa, ela podia raciocinar. Raciocínio é inteligência. Então, poderia ser pobre em casa, de morar em barraco, mas teria inteligência na cabeça para poder sair dali. Eu, graças a Deus, eu consegui vencer isso. Mas e quantos outros não conseguem? E muitos até morrem por isso. Isso é muito triste. Para mim, é injustiça pura. A rua é uma escola muito dura. Uh, a pobreza é um estado no qual eu estou atualmente. Mas, à força de le vivre quotidiennement, non pas on s'y complaît, mais on s'y habitue, tout simplement. La pauvreté est un état, mais... c'est un état qui dure. E por beaucoup. Por beaucoup trop. Some of the most generous people I know have no money. And that's how it should be. When we have no money, it's a different lifestyle. When you see the old people, uh, there was no, in our language, we have no such word as please or thank you because it is what we, is expected of us is that we share and we give what we have. Today, we have to say please, we have to say thank you, we have to beg for things. In the old days, it was just a giving thing that we would share things. That was a part of who we are. And not only for Aboriginal people, I expect people all around the world would do the same things before money. But nowadays, it's mine. There are words like mine. We don't share our things anymore. And it's become, it kills, kills us as human beings, as a society, of, as, a, as, a, as a race. When I say race, I'm talking about the human race. But we deny other people shelter. We deny other people food. We deny other people their survival purely because of money. What the hell I'm doing here? Why can't be your bill there, but y'all, y'all be over here while I'm see what the hell going on? Let's switch for a minute. <laughs> Let's switch. You come here and be me, and I go there and be you. Then when we meet up in this midline or the equator, then we'll pick up and uh uh. <laughs>
Lo diferente es que nuestra forma de vivir, nuestros valores, son la expresión media de la sociedad que nos toca vivir. Eh, y nos aferramos a eso. Pero no ahora por ser presidente. Esto lo pensamos mucho, pasamos más de 10 años de soledad en el calabozo. Y tuvimos tiempo, tuvimos siete años sin leer un libro. Y tuvimos mucho tiempo para pensar. Y descubrimos esto. O logras ser feliz con poco y liviano de equipaje, porque la felicidad está dentro tuyo, o no logras nada. Esto no es una apología de la pobreza. Esto es una apología de la sobriedad. Y, pero como hemos inventado una sociedad de consumo, consumista, y la economía tiene que crecer, porque si no crece es una tragedia, inventamos una montaña de consumo superfluo y hay que tirar y, y vivir comprando y tirando y lo que estamos gastando es tiempo de vida. Porque cuando yo compro algo, o tú, no lo compras con plata. Lo compras con el tiempo de vida que tuviste que gastar para tener esa plata. Pero con esta diferencia. La única cosa que no se puede comprar es la vida. La vida se gasta. Y es miserable gastar la vida para perder libertad.
दुनिया भी नीलट में यो जमजी गल आरम को जापल मुफी मैं जापू फे सुनको डे फे दुनु सोनु ते ये मुफी मैं ते ये फे न्यून पुनको डे फे दुनु सोनु ते मेरी लू जाफे लो लो वाई आके यम बुलाल जापल मुफी मैं जापू फे Sinko te se itu nusana. Yeah, magdai buko te fe itu nusana. Naklu dagumara rewuti. Tiel ma fe ma japu fe yung sinko te se. Non sa yi ki beko mpus wende ton pam gure mpam taba nduge nenga vena ka meti tumbiga ta kenga baba zakun anti jehob yi kalafi ntum kara kenka anti jehob baba yi kalafi ntum kara bambo ta ab san wale ba sheka taba ob yenda ton to fa yi kalafi ton su mam suria noko Of fan hi klafim ba kabela ba seksu nongo Ala vu que moi j'ai passé une enfance difficile et sans argent je suis arrivé à l'université j'ai eu ma première bourse d'installation et je suis allé payer une moto toute neuve j'étais la première personne à la mettre en marche, j'étais la première personne à monter dessus pour arriver à la maison. Ce moment où je sens le vent me taper quand je circule, le fait de savoir que je ne suis pas derrière la moto d'une tierce personne, c'est ma moto à moi. Ah. Je suis arrivé à la maison et pour dormir la nuit, j'ai mis la moto dans ma chambre et j'ai enfermé avec moi. Comme ça, je peux sentir l'odeur du moteur chaud là. Voilà l'odeur du moteur, l'odeur du neuf. Et quand j'allume la lumière la nuit, je vois que ça, c'est ma moto à moi. Franchement, c'est parce que je ne pouvais pas mettre la moto sur le lit, dans, sous ma couverture. C'est ça que j'aurais fait. Oui, là, là, là j'ai eu. Oui, ça, c'était un moment très, très, très heureux pour moi. Ngiyatero <laughs> Losing half of my body has forced me to balance the other areas of my life in a mental and spiritual manner. So, as a human living on this planet, I feel that I've, I've worked things out for my own life. I'm so mentally strong, and the only reason that has come is because of losing my legs physically. You know, my eyesight's sharper, my ears are, I can hear much better. So that's on a physical sense, but I feel I'm lucky as in, I don't analyze or question life too much. I can, I can cruise through life and, and always be in the right place at the right time. I always have amazing things happen to me. I'm, I'm really lucky in that situation. But that comes from believing in, in luck or believing in the power of attraction or believing in, in, in attracting the goodness into one's life. And I think 
that can be seen as luck. Um, so if God himself jumped down in front of me right now and said to me, Bruno, I'll give you back your legs, but I'll take away all that you've learned over the last 13 years. I'll tell God, keep your legs. Because just my experiences from being in a wheelchair and traveling the world in a wheelchair, I've seen life from a different angle. And that's taught me on a spiritual level to just accept and to be happy with whatever's coming next. Счастье, счастье, когда дети любят возвращаться в твой дом. Это как мое материнское счастье. Счастье, когда муж заходит, улыбается, поцелует в щечку спустя 33 года замужества. Это тоже счастье, но счастье уже женское. Счастье, когда внуки бегут навстречу и своим ангельским голосом кричат «бабочка». Вот именно когда бабочки кричат, а не бабушка, когда повзрослеют. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда на работу приходишь в коллектив, и тебя встречают. Встречают и радуются, что вот пришла, значит, можно пообщаться. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда утром встаешь, и у тебя нету боли с букетом болезней. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда дождик идет, значит, урожай будет. Счастье много, и в то же время оно одно. Живешь, значит счастлив. A minha felicidade é eu olhar dentro da minha casa como pobre, né? Eu tenho uma televisão, eu tenho uma geladeira, eu tenho uma máquina de lavar roupa. Eu vejo a minha filha bem, eu vejo meu filho bem. O meu filho de 15 anos está no último ano do estudo, já vai fazer um, um curso para daqui a pouco ser alguém na vida. Isso para mim é felicidade, é, é uma felicidade imensa, sem tamanho, sem explicação. Que eu cheguei lá, eu consegui chegar lá, sem deixar meus filhos passarem provações. Дурацкое состояние, когда хочется э, сдержать слезы, а они все равно есть. Э, самые счастливые моменты — это моменты рождения детей. Ну, ничего не сравнится. Я чувствовал большим, я чувствовал супер-хомбре, я чувствовал что-то тремендое. Я говорю, у меня есть сын, у меня есть сын. И это был один из моментов самых маравильных в моей жизни. Вот представляете, приносит вам палат вот такого маленького-маленького комочка. И смотришь на него, а он такой маленький, щупленький личик такой. И когда ему первый раз даешь грудь, вот это вот, наверное, самые счастливые дни. La familia para mí es este comunión. Es estar, llegar a tu casa y encontrar a alguien que te abra y te diga, qué bueno que estás aquí. Ayudar a mis hermanos a hacer algo que ellos no pueden, que yo ya pude, por ser una, uno de los mayores. Enseñarle, ver a mi papá llegar del trabajo, satisfecho, sentado en su sillón, y pues poderle hacer un café. Creo que me hace sentir bien. Algo que como que te llena por dentro. Y si te falta uno, te queda como que un hueco en, en el corazón, así como que, ah, diablos, ¿qué pasó? ¿Dónde está? Creo que la familia es algo feliz, notable. Es otra cosa. Te llena. Um, I think when I was young, I didn't think I was going to stay in um, the community of religious that I was, had joined. And I suppose I didn't understand what I was actually doing and that I was maybe making a decision which meant that I wouldn't have children and I wouldn't have a family as other people had. I didn't think, I don't really think I understood that. But later in life, I had a sister who died um, of cancer and 
When I saw her family, I realized that when I died, there wouldn't be anybody to mourn me in the same way. It is, as time goes on, then you recognize that you are a parent to other people who you work with or who are friends or who are related to you in some way. So even though you haven't your own family, you have family. So I think that's important to me. Ça peut sembler euh, très bizarre, mais il est très difficile de dire à mes parents que je les aime, en fait, tout simplement. Euh, je crois que c'est tellement puissant. C'est un sentiment tellement fort qu'au moment venu, euh, on n'a plus les mots, on se dit pas « je t'aime euh, »,« je t'aime maman »,« je t'aime papa », ça ne se dit pas chez nous. Enfin, malheureusement, mais pourtant, euh, on s'aime comme tout le monde. Hein. <rire> très très fort même. C'est ça qui est difficile. J'aimerais pouvoir trouver un jour la force de leur dire vraiment avec des mots avant avant qu'il soit trop tard. Yo me salí a los 12 años de la casa de mis abuelitos por maltrato. Entonces me fui a la calle, estuve una noche así solita, pasé frío y pues me daban ganas de regresarme, pues porque pues no sé, me daba miedo que algo me fuera a pasar, pero pues dije no, porque pues qué tal si va a ser peor, no van a decir que porque me salí, ya no me van a dejar salir, entonces dije no, pues mejor sigo mi camino para que pues a ver si me pueden independizar yo misma. Lo que nunca podría perdonar fue, sería a mi madre, porque Haberme vendido no fue una buena idea. Si ella tuvo algún problema, lo hubiera aceptado. Pero nunca fue... No fue conveniente que ella me vendiera. Porque somos sus hijos. Y le dolió tenernos. Y pues eso es lo que nunca yo perdonaría. Lo más difícil para mí de, pues, de toda mi vida, la, el fallecimiento de mi papá. Porque, pues... Ay. Ay, me quiero llorar. Este... Ay. Fue con el que me apoyaba mucho. El que, pues... No, se acaba adelante a mis hermanos y a mí. Yo no le tengo miedo ya a nada, porque viví muchas cosas feas y ya estoy acostumbrado. Pero no le tengo casi miedo a nada. Me sin... No, que te vamos a pegar, que te voy a matar. Les digo, no, no les tengo miedo. Y si ustedes lo hacen, no, no les voy a tener miedo, les dije. Sí, a mí, bueno, a mí mi papá me decía que a pesar de todo lo que, todo, a pesar de todos mis, tro, mis tropiezos que tenga, siempre para arriba. O sea, si me caigo, volverme a levantar. Y así, si me caigo, levantarme y levantarme. Porque pues eso es lo que me ayuda a mí. Y pues si vivo en el pasado, pues siempre estaría llorando, siempre estaría de amargada, no amistosa, o sea, nada. Sino pues, no, sino ser juguetona y estar sonriendo. Porque si vivo en el pasado, pues de nada me sirve. Si no hay que vivir el presente. Sí. 
Kristi här i nattens bo Alla sover stilla Kossorna och ängarna Alla sover stilla Under stjärnors himla valv Under månens jorda fall Kan du drömma och sova So the defining point in my life was when I was living in a women's refuge centre in a supported flat and I witnessed the tragic death of a friend from a drug overdose. I had to stand up in court and tell his parents why this poor lad had lost his life. And I just remember thinking my life could have gone down two paths. I could follow him to death or I could do something with my life. And a few days later I walked into my local college and I asked them, please teach me, I want to learn. And there was an amazing tutor there at that point in time, and his name was Paul. And Paul said to me, come and learn with me, I'll teach you. I do a sport course, 
and I want you to be on that course, Sophie. Uh, and I just remember thinking, you know, this guy's amazing, you know, I've got no qualifications and he's willing to take me on. And Paul used to come to the homeless hostels and pick me up and he'd take me to the boxing ring. And I remember one day having this boxing match with Paul and punching him in the stomach and him screaming in pain. And I asked him what was wrong and he told me he had stomach cancer. Paul spent the last two years of his life engaging with me and making my, me believe in myself. He lost his life before I graduated at college, but it was that one person that believed that I could make it to university, you know, and, and the fact that he'd done this with the last two years of his life, you know, what an exceptional person to be facing death and say, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to go out and help people and make them believe in themselves. And it was that, that one person that did that for me that made me think, do you know what? I can do it. Этот ребенок, которого я ждал, я сына ждал всю жизнь. То есть у меня были старшие девчонки, и я ждал помощника. И сейчас, и сейчас хочу еще также, чтобы был у меня ребенок помощник. Но у меня помощник в том, что он мне подсказывает, он мне молчит, он смотрит на меня. Когда мы с ним что-то делаем, где-нибудь строгаем, стучим, я ему объясняем и, и проговариваю. Есть такая притча. Когда Господь сидел и распределял, кому, какого ребенка, в какую семью отправить ангелы сидят и говорят, Господи, почему ты этого тяжелого ребенка даешь такую семью? Им, им, им так хорошо, они живут счастливо. Зачем им это? А он говорит, это не для того, чтобы они могли. Ему донести, что есть я. Листочек на дереве, ветер. И я постоянно проговариваю ему. Я проговариваю его об этом. Я ему говорю, Алеша, вот это, это листик. Это радость. Мы с ним выходим ночью. Я ему объясняю, что такое звезды. Я говорю, я говорю звезды. А он, он видит это и смотрит на меня взрослыми глазами, не по возрасту. Еще не такое, что дух, который в нем живет, он намного сильнее меня. И он меня ведет. Ведет меня, нашу семью, детей. И поэтому я только сейчас начинаю понимать, что такое любовь. Изначально любовь к себе. Потому что для того, чтобы жить вместе, Надо любить себя, любить себя, любить свою жену, любить своих детей, в том числе старших, любить своих родственников, родителей, родителей моей живы, любить людей, любить людей по, по сути. А суть одна. Тут только любовь может спасти этот мир. The magic moment that I had with my grandfather was right after my grandmother died. And I went to go see him and I knew that he was hurting but I wasn't sure what kind of state he would be in. And she was his partner 65 years as well as his driver. And I went to see him and said, Grandpa, how are you doing? He said, did you know that for $4, I can get a shuttle anywhere in the city? I was 
said, wow, that's great, Grandpa. And he said, well, I went to Savon, I went to the grocery store and went to the woman behind the counter and said, I have this list of things, could you help me find them? My wife has recently changed her residence to heaven. And I said, Grandpa, man, you always help me see the glasses half full. And he leaned back and he looked me in the eyes and he said, it's a beautiful glass.
ตปีลีบ้านเนี่ยมาเปล่าเบตปีลีตัดสีอ่ะชั่วโมงเมื่อเล่นในปานี้ชั่วโมงเล่นในปานี้เมื่อเล่นดินดอกชั่วชั่วโมงเมื่อในปานี้สักพารีมาตัดเกลือบ้ามาตัดเกลือนี่นอีนี่นอปูชานี่นอเอ๊ะมีแต่นี่แรกถือว่าตาดีอาทำมือเลยชมชมโมมิสิลันนั่นดีกว่าอืมมือชมโมนี่ après la mort il n'y a plus rien une fois qu'il est on va au ciel mais on prend pas le bon chemin ก็ต้องว่าแท้ก็โผล่เสียเลยเขาประปอลโผล่ใช่ไหมแต่ถ้าเขาเสียปอลสบายนะวิ่งไปรับวอร์มไม่ไม่ไม่คุ้มกันด้วยตัวซะฉันฉันฉันกลัวที่จะถูกเรียกว่าผู้ชายที่ไม่ได้รับการสนับสนุนเกี่ยวกับการให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่ให้ลูกสาวไม่Qui, qui repose sur, sur quelque chose de, de complètement archaïque, de complètement tribal, je pense, parce que ça me, ça me remue terriblement. Et je ne crois pas que ce soit quelque chose qui soit de l'ordre de... de l'orgueil ou, ou quelque chose comme ça. Euh, C'est autre chose. Ça rejoint un peu le, le sens de, de la vie. Qu'est-ce qu'on a fait là qu qu Pourquoi Pourquoi je suis là euh, Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Qu'est-ce que je laisse J'aimerais laisser quelque chose, oui. J'aimerais laisser une trace. Une trace. Et le sens de la vie... Quizá me veo, no sé si es por una cuestión de que me veo, no me siento muy importante, no creo que seamos tan importantes, entonces no le veo, no veo la vida como algo. La vida se lleva. Todos estuvieron, todos están y todos vamos a dejar de estar. Para v o l v e a m n d a él y v a n i कि हमरे जर से एक दो बच्चा आवर हुए हैं, उनको बढ़िया तर से जिंदगी का परवस्ती हम बचपन से ये बरत तक ले कर दे तो जब हम बुजुर्ग हो जाए तो हमार परवस्तन वो कर दिलो। ma plus grande peur c'est c'est d'être personne, c'est d'être rien, c'est de de de, de... de pas savoir qu'est-ce que je fais là, à quoi ça sert, si ça a un sens, de ne servir à rien, de vraiment ne servir à rien moi, homme parmi les hommes. J'ai l'impression que il y a une dynamique universelle et si j'en fais pas partie, ça va me briser. J'ai envie J'ai envie de faire partie de l'histoire de l'humanité. Me being 15 with a life sentence, what can be the meaning of my life? That is a hard question, but I think the meaning of my life could be, you know, happiness, making everything right, helping out young and older people, you know, just help one another, you know. Stand for some. 
Just stay out of trouble. Don't come to prison. I know that ain't no meaning in life. This ain't no place for nobody. But I don't know. Everybody had their own purpose, so I don't know what my purpose is. And I don't really, I don't know about that question. <laughs> Tem alguma pergunta mais fácil, não? Tá. <risos> ah, o sentido da vida. Às vezes eu penso uma, uma frase que eu escutei quando era muito garoto, assim, de um amigo falando, poxa, é, a vida é, é como carregar uma mensagem da criança que você foi um dia pro velho que você vai ser amanhã e tentar não deixar essa mensagem se perder, se desfazer. Muitas vezes eu me pego perguntando isso, porque quando eu era criança eu pensava tantas coisas bonitas assim, tão lindas, nossa, eu quero um mundo sem mendigos, todo mundo feliz e aí coisas tão simples assim, tão sutis, mas mas a gente perde isso, né? A vida faz a gente perder. Daqui a pouco a gente está só trabalhando para poder comprar coisas e está nem aí para o mendigo, nem olha, não ajuda ninguém. Aí você fala, cara, cadê aquela mensagem da criança, né? Talvez a vida, o sentido da vida seja, seja não deixar essa mensagem da criança, sei lá, desaparecer. Isso não é Isso na canção na zona, putina na zona mukili. Na zona mukili. Po na na sala oyo nzambe atina na sala na mukili. Parce que na mukili mutu mutu azwana mission ay on zamba tindela ay. Ya ngape na zona mukili po na mission na ngai me nzambe nda ebi. Nga na ebi onante. I'm not afraid of dying. I don't know if God exists or not, but I choose to believe. And when I look at the universe, I hope there's a place where our spirits can go and where we'll recognize each other. And as well as my parents, I would really love to meet again my best friend, Shawnee, who died when he was 21. And I'd love to spend time with him hitchhiking through heaven as we used to do as youth here on earth. I also would love to meet the many good people throughout the generations who tried to make a better world and who tried to work for a world of justice and peace. For me, that's what's most important. And indeed, when we look at the great religions and philosophies and ideologies, and when we try to simplify the complex dogmas and theologies, it all comes down to love. So I hope my spirit is taken up in a great ballet and a great cosmic dance of love where there's no more suffering and there's no more sorrow, where we can no longer hurt or be hurt and where we can truly celebrate the great gift of consciousness, the great gift of being, the great gift of life. And if in the end there is no God, I'm still thankful for the gift of life. I've often thought the last two words I would like to utter just before I die, or thank you. Thank you for the gift of life.
তাই তোমাদের আমি বলছি মা আমার আমার দিকে তোমরা তাকায় তাহলে ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দিও তোমাদের আমি অনেকবার বলেছি আজকেও বলছি তুমি ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দাও ড্রাগ নাও ভালো না মানুষের শরীরে অনেক ক্ষতি হয় তুমি যদি আমাকে মনে করো যে আমি তোমার মেয়ে তাহলে তুমি ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দাও En fait, j'ai un, un cadet, j'ai un petit frère qui, qui est mort, effectivement. Donc, il a laissé une petite fille de 4 ans. Et ça, là, malheureusement, encore la maman de sa fille, de cette fille, encore est morte. Donc, j'aimerais dire à ce frère-là qu'il qu ne se fait pas de soucis pour cet enfant. Parce que je connaissais l'amour de ce, de ce frère-là par rapport à, à sa fille. Qu'il sache que cet enfant est en, est en des bonnes mains, que je m'occupe très bien de lui. ดิฉันเป็นผู้หญิงกลางคืนก็อยากส่งข้อความให้คุณพ่อคุณแม่ว่าตอนนี้ไม่ต้องเป็นห่วงแล้วนะคะสบายใจได้เลยตอนนี้หนูทําหน้าที่ของหนูเต็มที่แล้วดูแลน้องได้รักษาน้องได้ให้น้องอยู่บ้านส่งน้องเรียนจะสัญญาว่าจะส่งให้น้องเรียนจนจบไม่ให้น้องลําบากแล้วถ้าน้องจบออกมาก็จะให้เรียนต่อให้กันจบสูงๆเพราะว่าหนูก็ดีใจที่ว่าน้องได้เรียนจบสูงเพราะหนูไม่มีโอกาสได้เรียนถ้ายังไงก็ถ้าน้องจบออกมาก็จะให้เรียนจบให้ได้มากที่สุดจนเอาแบบว่าจนคิดว่าหนูไม่มีปัญญาส่งน้องเรียนจบแล้วก็แค่นั้นค่ะ When I was seven years old, my father went to prison for assassinating Rabbi Meir Kahana, and then in 1993 he co-masterminded the bombing of the World Trade Center in which six people were killed and over a thousand people were injured. And if you were sitting in front of me today. I would want to know why he chose that path. I would want to know if he did it for fame, or did you do it for your religion? Did you do it because you thought maybe you were going to create a better world for your family? Did you think about your family? Did you wonder if you would be able to escape and maybe you wouldn't go to prison and? and And you know we would all live somewhere happily together afterward. Uh, after 22 years in prison, I would want to know if you felt like the actions you took all those many years ago were worth it, and would you do it all over again if you had the chance to make that choice again? <laughs> And always smile because smiling is the only language that everyone understands. え、私と父は一緒に一緒の間で出会える方は限られているからとても大切にしなさいと私に小さい頃から申してました。こういう形で皆様にお会いできることとても嬉しく思います。本当にありがとうございます。You've, <clears throat> you've brought up a lot of things for me today. You've made me feel important. You've made me feel that I have something to offer. Uh, you made me feel that I had a place to go. You made me feel like my stories were welcome. And you made me feel happy. I think people need to feel that they've done something uh, while they've lived. They need to feel that they've contributed, and today you made me feel like I contributed, and I am very grateful to you for that. Thank you. It's just a thing, man. I'm not even mad at you. 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 Ivani, Werli, story grapuri lelia, camera ba wogi lelia wali niti ni, jana story kuri na piba wini mini, ula ba Manuel ba, mubi ba mini ni kram lini, yari yari na mama sna ba yena niya, very lots bi kono kuru pragu yero kuru na, ma idla ni kia na dugo, taba taba mubi men ni kram kram na ni dugo na ma agi ni kia ni, world kura ba ma kri ni. Matuka ni nambe, amtuka ni nambe ni nani na sababu ni niaba. Alingema na ba 
Sure. 